Good morning everybody. Today we are going to do Rise and Shine morning wake up and connection with all the body parts. So it's going to be uh, proper reception about all our parts in the body, maybe trying to get more connections to our nervous system. So I want you to just stand legs under the hips and just bend your knees so you're not really locking down. Just become aware of your knee joints and your feet and breathe. And exhale, sign the tension out. Then we're gonna do a few more breaths like this. I'm gonna try to move my hands a little, just so going to inhale up. And exhale and down. Feeling the energy rise up and lower down. Roll the floor up. And top down. And inhale, let me lift. And exhale, let me come down. And inhale, let me lift. And exhale, let me come down. And just breathe a little deeper. So inhale, coming up and open the arms. And exhale, and down. Inhale. And exhale, and down. Inhale. And exhale and down. And now try to get a little bit higher with the arms. And exhale and out. Breathe in. And exhaling out. Couple more times. So rising up. And exhale. One more time. We really lift. And exhale. Now, just gonna move our body weight onto one foot. So, this is my right foot. So, I'm just gonna think about my right toes and I'm wiggling them around, just the toes. Oh, each and every one of them wiggling around. I'm standing on my left leg. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the toes. Now, circle the ankle. Keep breathing. Nice. And circle the ankle other way, still on my right foot. Foot. Then I got the knee and I'm going to circle my knee and then the other way around. Think about the function of the joint rather than the muscles. Now the hip joints. Circle on the hip joint. I know it's hard to balance. You can hold on to something if you need and circle it the other way. Especially if you're doing it in the early morning like I am. And just relax again. Just march the body one side, other side, breathing in. And breathing out. One more time. And breathing out. Now we're gonna swap onto the other foot. So wriggle your toes first. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Close and open, close and open. Then circle your ankle. Keep breathing. Keep your eyes fixed so you don't really get lost with the balance and other way around. And circle the knee. And the other way. And circle through the hip. And the other way. And let me relax. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Nice. Now, just going on to the hands this time, just think about lifting the right hand. Just a little bit in the front, not too far. Standing nice and normal. Don't try to pay attention to anything else other than the hand. Circle the wrist, and it's like a halfway up, otherwise it will be too tiring. Then you open and close on that wrist, and the fingers, then you get the elbow to the circle, just one arm. And circle it the other way, good, and then we circle the shoulder, and circle the other way. 
I'm gonna get the shoulder bigger circumduction here. And circle the other way, bigger. And then relax and go back to that breathing. And breathe out. <laughs> and breathe in. And we breathe out. And we breathe in one more time. And we breathe out. And then we're just gonna circle the left. So the wrist on the left side. There we go. And the other way around. Then open and close that hand in the front. Then circle the elbow, just the elbow. See how you're circling, are you connecting other way around? And the shoulder. And other way around. And then we can go big arm circle. And the other way. And then take breath in again. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And exhale, stress, stress, stretch. Good. Now I'm just gonna go onto the feet again. So we are really connecting the limbs. I'm just gonna bend your knees a little bit. Travel your body weight to the front, side, back, and side, front, side. So you're moving over your feet. Just like small, small movements. Your feet are not moving. So you're grabbing the floor with your feet. So if your mat is very thick, you can feel the softness under the mat or your uh, carpet. Now go on the other side. So you're really not moving your feet, but you're trying to move your body over your feet. Do you see how much effort you get through your ankles? Through your lower legs just notice and your knees are functioning because your feet are not moving you end up moving your hips and moving knees a bit more good and then we can straighten the knees and bend the knees and straighten the knees and then bend the knees still stuck on the ground so you feel like roots are being built and you're really resisting all the winds and the better conditions using your body not breaking but really staying strong on this ground with the roots then just gonna go forward straight and then bend the knee and then backwards and straight don't hurt your back and then bend the knees to the side and we straight and we bend the knees to the other side and we straight and we bend the knees again to the front. Straight, straight, straight. Don't move your feet. So you're keeping your heels planted. Lean back and straight. Lean, lean, lean. Don't hurt your back. Engage your core. And bend the knees to the side and straight. Leaning, not moving. You'll see how you're transferring your body weight and how your muscles are really starting to adjust themselves. And then we bend the knees. Now try to circle the knees here. So you're gonna go circle and circle. Still not lifting the heels. <sighs> Keep breathing, don't stop the breath. And we circle the other way. And then just again bend and straight, bend and straight. But this time you're really locking your legs back. Trying to stretch the hips out <coughs> and then come up. Now the hips here, so you're just gonna soften the knees and then circle your hips. 
so notice your feet are still not moving you're trying to move your hips front side back side allow your limbs to go there they want to go on the upper body you can feel like you're like a puppet and going in the other side it doesn't have to have any order you just make the order how are you feeling a little bit like drunk movements here good then just gonna go on the straight in the legs again bend and straight and bend and straight you don't have to push so far pause with the spine but bend your knees when you come back you feel that connection to the toes and the heels then you're starting to feel the openness in the front of the legs connect two more and one more hold this one and i'm gonna get my hands on my legs and then spine is gonna move inhale exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and relax your head just hang the arms Hang, 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 relax with everything you got except for your core muscles and hands on the thighs and lift up. <coughs> Stick your tail back and then hang again, pull the belly in, hang, relax your neck and your shoulders. Visualize that spine separated everywhere. Breathe into it and bend the knees and look up. Exhale, come. Hanging the arms, relaxing the neck and the shoulders, pressing the heels down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then bend the knees and look up. Then you roll the spine all the way up. <coughs> Stay here. Now I just want you to keep the knees locked and just move the torso again. So we are trying to mobilize the spine. If you're getting dizzy, you don't have to turn your head glasses doesn't help sometimes you can take them off so you don't get as dizzy so you will go one side other side now starting to move and look behind me my feet are locked down I'm feeling really rooting to the floor and my knees are soft my hips are twisting my breath is a bit deep and my arms are tapping me when I loosen them I just tap one side the other side I turn my neck and I can make my arms bigger up and open and start do you see open and then bend the knees and then lift the arms good couple more times one more Now just go like you're really loosening everything down and all the way back up. Breathe in and breathe out. Loose, 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 loose and breathe and breathe out. And all the way up. You still lift the chin. Chin tucks. Come all the way down. All the way up. This time we lift the chin up. Come down, look down, roll down, all the way down, all the way up. And lift the chin up. One more time, breathe in, breathe out, and lift the chin up, good, up, 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 you go and just pull the chin, pull the chin, and pull the chin, all the way up, so you're feeling that neck stretch, and check your breath, so you're really lifting and waking up the facial muscles now, so if I show you a bit more there, you can come up, I don't want to show my <laughs> face so close. Now open your mouth the other way so you go. So you go, I'm not going to make too much noise, but just going to open all out as far as you can. Open your eyes at the same time. So you're like a lion, you're like roaring, but don't have to make a big sound. You just want to feel all the facial muscles and wake up. So all the 
jaw, all the cheek and eyes, open them wide. So think about your mouth lifting towards your nose. Now just stick your tongue out. Keep your tongue stuck out, you look with your eyes towards the ceiling. Stick your tongue towards the right side, look towards the right, and to the left side, and look towards the left, and relax. Now take a deep breath in again, and exhale. Notice the difference now. Where do you feel the breath? Can you feel the breath each and every limb? from the feet, knees, hips, chest, shoulders, arms, head, face, and inhale again, and exhale again, you're now really sighing that breath, you're really breathing in that breath, you feel each and every cell filled with the air, and each and every cell empty with the air. So feel the breath rise and let go. Inhale and exhale. Feel every. Really sighing out the tension. How are you doing? Are you starting to wake up? Now we're going to coordinate. So we're just going to have your right foot up, left arm up. Just going to be here. Just move the foot and the arm. I don't want coordination that you don't feel ready. So you can go wherever you want with this. You can get your toes tapping in between. Or you can make it more challenging by not tapping. So you got the opposite arm, you can take the arm to a different plane, a leg to a different plane, you can try to rotate the arm and the leg, see what's happening, how they're reacting. Are they connecting at all, are you just falling to pieces, you feel strong or not, let's see what happens. Can you feel more creative? Still one arm, one leg, and then relax. Rest, catch your breath. Now we go on the other side, arm and the leg. There you go. Where you want to start, you can do simple movements first. My arm, my opposite leg is going to join together, and my body is going to be strong. And I am going to connect, breathe change position but still keep them coordinated just try to keep your balance though if you want more challenge here and then relax now we're just gonna go the same side arm. So same side arm and the leg going same direction, doing the same things. See whether they're connecting in the same way. Good. And the other side, arm and the leg, same side arm, same side leg, going forwards, backwards, connecting, maybe circle, who knows but still doing the same direction. Good, and then we relax. Now step one side, step other side. See how you're feeling, like you can feel the body weight to change from one to the other. And just gonna go bend your knees a little faster, breathe. And then we just try to do a little hop. 
And a little hop. And a little hop. So notice your feet, your ankles, your lower legs. And now look what our arms are doing to try to control the body. There you go. Try to fall when you're doing it. I want to fall, but relax the upper body. Just relax. Rest everything. As you're going down now, just sigh. And then relax. Now we want to feel the upper body just feeling a bit more energized. So you want to go up, not moving the legs. Up, just with the arms. And up, as if you're jumping, but you don't want to jump with the feet. You just want to go arms. See how your feet prepare when you're trying to go. You want to go at the same time. You can't jump just with the arms. Did you notice? So your feet want to move. But you're stopping them. And breathe. And breathe. Now we come fall down. And we come up. We come fall down. And we come up. And fall down. And we come up. One more time. And up. And relax. Just feel the feet, feel your breath. Now you just want to go a couple more emotions just to get you really ready for today, just to wake up. The sun started to rise behind me. So we're just going to go, you don't want something, you want to say no. You're like going really stubborn, making your arms fists and tighten. And you want to put your feet down and just don't stomp too hard, but just like you're saying stubbornly no. So you're going to go, no, you really mean it, no, and see what happens to your body when you say no, and you say no, have your body braces everywhere, and you feel your arms tense up, no, and your feet are really grounding, and they're digging into the floor, notice the emotion, no, and if you want to shout, you can shout, no, I don't want to because of my neighbors one more time. No. And now we're changing the emotion into yes. So we want to say yes to everything. Yes. So what do you feel like doing? Yes. And how your body feels? It feels up and rising. Yes. Your chest feels open. Your arms are relaxed. You feel everything out. Your emotions can shine. Yes. Big yes. So a new day, we're going to go yes, new day. The sun is rising. Yes, the sunshine. And one more time, yes, anything that you wish. And relax and see, watch your emotions. So watch your emotions and how they're feeling. I'm going to get you to sit down now after all that very, very tiring, energizing wake up. I want you to focus on the breath. Notice every part of your body. You don't have to sit like me. You can just lie down or even sit in a chair. Breathe. How is your breath now? Do you feel every inch of your body all awake? Do you feel oxygenated each and every cell? Your mind feels clear. You're present in your body. You have a little check for each and every joint, the bone and the muscle. You're breathing and you know that you're breathing. And you're feeling balanced between right and left, right and wrong, dark and night, light and day. You feel connected between the opposite forces. You're aware they exist in 
they exist alongside each other without the one the other wouldn't exist this is why it's okay to be dark at times it's okay to be very light at times so that you know that you can't always shine you can't always stay in the dark you're constantly living in the scale in between the two extremes and you're trying to keep it balanced between light and dark the light and the wrong the right and left active and passive black and your thoughts, set your intentions for the day ahead and know that you're in charge and you decide how this day is going to go. You're going to move your limbs, make decisions, make a cup of tea, call a friend, talk to a colleague, go to the gym, wear your mask, take your vitamins, all of those things. And you're going to be able to do this without any problems. You're going to have so much fun. And you're going to achieve whatever you set out to achieve for today. And you're going to chant three times on, three times shanty. So when you're ready, take a deep breath in. Join your palms above the head. Bring your hands to your face, to your chin, to your chest. Good morning, everybody. See you next time.